the situation with uh, Iraq and Iran, very, very uh, important issues that, that we, shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't underestimate. In 2003, we did approach the, the, uh, the MEK. We did ask them to lay down their arms. We did ask them to consolidate uh, in one camp called Camp Ashraf. And we did guarantee uh, in writing to each citizen, each member of the MEK, that they would receive the protection of the United States. The fact that um, we turned over uh, uh, the status of forces agreement was not ag agreed to with the uh, uh, Iraqi government and we withdrew our forces in no way, in my view, abdicates our responsibility uh, for that protection. There have been seven attacks um, going back to 2009 on these people. Four have been at Camp Liberty. Three have been at Camp Ashraf. 116 people have been killed and 1,200 or so have been wounded. Despite the fact that um, we asked them to move from Camp Ashraf to Camp Liberty because it was only be temporary, uh, expecting that there would be relocation. That relocation has not happened. Um, so this tremendous moral issue continues to nag at us. And for people like us who have grown up um, thinking that at the end of the day, this country will always do the right thing, we're still waiting for the right thing to happen. So I hope that um, in, the, in the months ahead, we can generate uh, the interest that's needed uh, to do the right thing and to, to rise above um, letting uh, groups who are oppressed by any definition continue to be oppressed, and in the case of the MEK, to be systematically massacred. Um, of the massacre of unarmed men, women, and children is, is not tolerable. These are not terrorists. As the governor pointed out, these are citizens uh, who are educated, uh, who have suffered, and who deserve a, a better opportunity to live in freedom. And I can think of no better country uh, to set that example than the United States of America. Thank you very much.